Now, a little earlier, I spoke to the Chief Secretary to the Treasury, Simon Clark, about the new measures his boss, Chancellor Rishi Sunak, announced today. I began by asking him why it's taken so long for the government to introduce this windfall tax on oil and gas firms. Well, we think this is a proportionate and necessary step to make sure that we can fund the generous package of support that we're bringing forward today to help with the cost of living. We've taken our time to, to bring together this response precisely because we need to see first how the pressure on family finances is developing. And we've got new data through from Ofgem this week, which is really helpful in that regard. But second, to make sure that we don't get this wrong in terms of the nature and the intervention that we make. So we have been very clear that uh, when we're looking at the question of this excess profits levy on oil and gas, that we don't disincentivize the investment that we want and need to see in the North Sea, because that in the end is in everyone's interest. So we get more uh, oil and gas extracted uh, so that we can improve our energy security and uh, ease uh, supply costs as well. If you'd watched Five News, uh, we've been speaking to our viewers on a weekly basis about the cost of living crisis. And they've got in touch, they've told us how much they've been struggling. Labour said five months ago they called on uh, your government to introduce a windfall tax. They also called on your government to scrap uh, the loan scheme, turn it to a grant. You've announced that's going to happen. Uh, so again, why did you take so long? And essentially the policies you're introducing are Labour policies, aren't they? Well, as I've just explained, we, we've taken our time to get the excess profits levy on oil and gas right by introducing the investment allowance element, which means that if companies do the right thing and invest uh, in, in new uh, drilling, and that will be rewarded through uh, the tax system. And that is, I think, a very important thing to protect, not just uh, our capacity for any generation, but also jobs uh, in areas ranging from Teesside right up to the northeast of Scotland. Uh, let me put to you some of the messages that we have been getting from Five News message, um, viewers. In fact, I'll put, give, put to you one message. Uh, this viewer says, I'm disappointed in the government so much that I cannot even think of a good word that I have to say. We are a working class family. Uh, we have two children, but we get no help from the government as they class us as rich. And, and, and actually, this £650 that will be going uh, to, to people, the, the price cap, as you mentioned earlier, that's going up by £800, expected to go up by £800 come October. That will swallow that up, helping or unable to help people like this viewer who got in touch with us. Well, there's a range of uh, measures that are being put in place today. So every household is going to get £400 in October, which is non-repayable. That's now a grant. And then on top of that, there are different elements that will come through the welfare system if you're in uh, particular groups. So for about 8 million households, that is to say the the roughly the third of homes who qualify for some form of means-tested benefit, there's an additional £650. There's an additional £150 if you're eligible for disability-related benefits on top of that. And there's uh, £300 on top of that for pensioners. Are you standing by Boris Johnson as Prime Minister because he is the first Prime Minister to have broken the law uh, while in office? He's been fined for breaking his own laws, attended parties where other people were fined. He's also the man in charge when members of staff breaking COVID rules also treated cleaning staff, security staff with contempt. Are you going to stand by Boris Johnson as Prime Minister? Boris is an exceptionally talented Prime Minister. He's someone who delivers what he says he will. And I think it's vitally important that whilst we note that there has been serious, uh, a serious need to apologise, which he has done, and to make changes, which he has initiated at Debt 10 Downing Street, okay. he's also the elected Prime Minister of this country and he has my full support. Okay, Simon Clark, good talking to you. Thank you. Thank you.